the shipping industry as such is quite is conservative. Um, it doesn't really understand LNG, um, apart from the small segment of the business that's involved in LNG carriers. So um, they don't understand it as a fuel at all. So there's a lot of education to be done um, on the emissions case, which this study is part of, on the investment case. So we're doing quite a lot of very sophisticated investment modeling that shows the clear benefits of LNG um, as a marine fuel in terms of um, uh, returns on capital. I think also the, um, the industry investors, i.e. the providers of money to the industry, need to see the actual industry act um, taking the plunge and making significant investments in LNG as marine fuel, uh, just as we've seen that sort of a company like CMA, CGM has done with their uh, major investment in um, some 22,000 TEU container vessels. And I think from an investment perspective, I think life cycle analysis is very powerful. Increasingly, we're seeing pressure on um, large-scale institutional investors to consider climate risk, and that falls at a number of levels, be that the robustness of their investments to deal with severe climate effects, but also sort of things like transition risks. So as regulation changes, you know, where might be the sort of stranded assets? So where, where are the greenhouse gas emissions? Can they be dealt with? If they can't be dealt with, what's, what's the strategy of the company to uh, deal with those, um, those, those investments? So I think uh, life cycle analysis is a very powerful tool in enabling um, investors to understand the risks within their portfolio and for regulators to understand where they need to put pressure on industry to change. ThinkStep, combining data, software, and consultancy services for a more sustainable planet.